Hello and welcome to another tutorial uh, by Chris Takakura. This is a tutorial covering all-in-one SEO and just the basic usage of it. Um, I install all-in-one SEO to uh, a lot of my client websites that run on WordPress and if you are my client or if you're just a beginner with all-in-one SEO, uh, please do check this video out. Now, uh, all-in-one SEO, once you install the plugin or once it is available, uh, there's a tab here that says all-in-one SEO here that gets enabled. Um, once you mouse over it and then uh, it will show these four settings right here, general settings, performance, social meta, feature manager. I'm not going to go over every single one, but let's just go to general settings just for now. Now general settings page will basically, general settings uh, link will basically take you to the general settings um, area. Now if you're not sure what you're doing, I strongly suggest you don't touch anything. But if you do know, then by all means you can mess with all the uh, um, settings like that's available for you but I'm just gonna go over three basic settings that you can change on your own and won't really necessarily break your website or break um, search engine results so the settings is the home page settings which basically sets um, tells um, search engines uh, w uh, that's running on WordPress that uh, what your website is about so the home title basically um, as it uh, says is your home title now you want to keep this short uh, this is Chris Takakura, Art Direction Design Blog. That's what my blog is about. And um, that's my title. So, again, if you want to change this section, uh, you can. Just keep it nice and straightforward and short and simple. The home description is basically a, a short description about your blog. Now, you don't want to um, uh, make this too long, again, uh, but uh, just want to keep it, again, short and simple. I would suggest having a, a the low minimum uh, word count as possible. But again, this is just basically the gist of what my website is about. And again, you could change the settings to fit your needs or to best describe your business. Now, the home keywords section here is basically uh, keywords that are separated with commas. Now, keywords, uh, there's a lot of um, statements saying that keywords are not relevant in regards to search engine results anymore. But again, it's better to have something than nothing. So I just kind of added different keywords separated by comma. Um, again, uh, just to kind of bump up the results if possible. Now it doesn't have to be hundreds and hundreds of keywords, even though I have a lot here. But uh, you know, just have a good number, like maybe 10, 20 if you can, and then um, go from there. So once again, um, that is set, we're going to go into uh, Use, utilizing all-in-one SEO with all your blog posts and your um, pages. Now, when you go to your uh, posts, you want to click on this link right here that will display all your posts on uh, regards to um, your blog. So if you've written a lot of blog entries, you should get some a list like mine, as you can see here. And once you have all-in-one SEO installed, it enables a new column here called SEO title, SEO description, SEO keywords. Now what this does is that um, it assigns different SEO um, title, description, and keywords based on individual blog posts and pages. This is very important because it index, indexes your page as a separate page from your home page. If we, uh, you, back in the day, we used to use uh, description and keywords in all of all of our pages, meaning the title was the same. The description was the same in every single page. Well, times have changed now. There's a better, um, effective method with SEO, and this plugin allows you to do so. Now, um, to enter the SEO title, SEO description, SEO keywords onto your blog post, uh, we're just going to go to an old blog post that I published. But if you're writing a new one, this is also uh, the same information. So take a look here. Here are the contents and whatnot and I have an extra section because um, I have that enabled and then you have your re revisions and here and whatnot and you know you might not see everything that you um, that you're seeing on the screen on your blog page which is fine because I have you know um, plugins installed which enables these things but on the bottom once uh, all in one SEO is enabled you should see uh, you should see a window that says all in one SEO pack now from here this is where you enter your title description and keywords Again, don't worry too much about these things right here. Um, it, basically, what this does is kind of disables or prevents on search engines from following. We don't want to do that today, so let's not even uh, talk about that. 
So again, we um this was very similar to the settings page, but now we're in an individual blog setting. So we're going to have our own unique title, which will be, which what I do is usually use the blog title as long as it's not um, long enough. Um, this already this title right here is already using uh, too many characters because it has it shows you the character count of 69 right here. But um, most search engines, this, this is right here, most search engines use a maximum of 60 characters for the title. So <clears throat> maybe we can shorten this and say Adobe Creative Cloud only. This was my blog post. And as you can see uh, up here, the preview snippet, snippet you can see how uh, what it may look like on search engines. And then um, the description, again, is the same thing as the settings page, but we're going to set a separate a description for this page because we're going to write something that's relevant to this article. So this one um, has its own description that's separate from the home page. And then again, this one also has a separate keywords from, that's different from the home page. Um, the keyword section, again, doesn't have to be hundreds or hundreds of keywords, so don't spend too much time on it, but just enter a few keywords that's relevant to the article or blog um, news that you post. And that's pretty much it. After you fill these out, you're just going to hit the update button right here. Um, just like similar to when you're publishing a um, blog article. And then it's just going to change the um, post for you. Now, the proofreader thing came up, so I'm just going to hit OK. And then once we hit OK, it's going to take us to the um, edit post page. Um, and it's going to say post updated and view post. Now let's go back to the list, our blog list. And as you can see, the, my SEO title has changed, so there will be Creative Cloud and my description and my keywords. So that is one method of entering SEO separately from in, with the, each and individual article. This is a really good tactic to use in terms of search engine results. Just take the time every time you publish a blog, take the time to uh, put in the SEO title, SEO description, SEO keywords because it will benefit you in the long run. Now, when you want to enter separate SEO um, information on your pages, you go to these, the, the pages section right here. So I'm just going to click on pages. It's going to show me show you all the pages that's um, currently live on your site or not live. It will say draft if it's not live, but if it's live, then you could just choose the pages. Now, I don't really use pages on my blog because it's strictly a blog but I have some few examples up here. So let's just go to edit. And again, the, edit, the page editing section is just like a blog post. Um, you know, nothing, nothing too different on, on, on outside of page attributes. We're not, we don't have to worry, worry about that today. But uh, again, you see how there's this option here called all-in-one SEO pack. And again, you, you have the option to enter the title, description, and keywords. Now, one thing I did not go over with individual blog posts is the social settings, and I'm going to go over that with you now. But social settings basically is when someone were to share your article on um, a social networking site like Facebook and whatnot, uh, you can also choose to have a se um, SEO settings uh, separate from the main settings. So the, set, uh, the title could be anything, something, something maybe different. Or it could be something, uh, it could be the same, to be honest. The description can be the same or something different. And then uh, over here, you can see it says image. These options uh, increase in terms of uh, options uh, depending on what, how many number of pictures you used on a blog post. So you can actually choose what images show up. For instance, if someone shared the blog content on Facebook or Twitter, um, these images will show up as a kind of like a preview image uh, on Facebook. Uh, for instance, if you share it on a Facebook like page, your own like page, um, this, for instance, if I select this, this um, image will show up and say, uh, check out this page or check out this blog post uh, by yada, yada, yada. So this is where you kind of choose your image or you can choose a custom image and um, upload it if you want. I just usually use a picture that's already been used on a blog, blog article and go from there. Don't worry too much about specify image width, image height. Um, don't worry too much about Facebook object type and don't worry too much about Twitter card type. Uh, unless you know what you're doing, you can choose somewhere a large image or photo. But again, these are just individual settings for your social network. So again, the pages and the post SEO settings are really not different, but it's still something really important to do. Make sure you have uh, separate SEO information on different pages uh, relevant to that page. So for instance, if you have like a gallery, 
then you would have a, a title here called gallery and then um, that well, that's it so all you have to do is type gallery and the best part about all in one SEO pack is after um, you type in gallery it will automatically follow follow up with the website uh, title of your whole entire page so if my, mine, mine's called Chris Tavakura Art Direction Design if I put gallery on the title title bar of the uh, browser or the title bar of title for the page would be called gallery Chris Tavakura Art Direction and Design and um, again, have something different for your description that's relevant to your page. If you have a gallery, let's say if you have a gallery page, make, make the description say this is a gallery page of um, my business incorporated and whatnot. So again, keep it relevant to that page, but remember to always have something uh, different um, for each page for the best search engine results. I hope this video helped you. Again, this is a, just a very basic, broad overview of all-in-one SEO. Uh, if you have any more questions or whatnot, you can all, you're always welcome to email me, uh, but I hope this covered some ground for you. Thank you very much.